Hey everybody, I know the lighting is pretty bad. This is the intro to the outro because it's nighttime as you can see like outside is really really dark. This video is just gonna be my first soccer game ever. It's just Angel City versus San Diego Wave. It was a really 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 good game. So yeah, just come along with me uh, during my day and yeah. So the game starts off with a all-woman skydiving team. As you can see right here, they slide through with some smoke. It looks super sick. This one has the rainbow flag. You know, we love that over here. Super, super cute. And it looks really good. Okay, we got this man with this food. Like, please move. Anyways, it looks really, really cute blown in the wind. Like, she ate, she ate. Then there's one more coming up. They are carrying the trans visibility flag. See how it just blows in the wind? Like, that's just so cool. And after that, we have the tarp pull out. I'm still a little new to being a fan of Angel City. I only started watching their season this year, so I'm still not familiar with all the players, but yeah. So here's the little walkout. You walk out the tunnel, super, super cute. Here's the kickoff whistle. Now we're ready to get crazy. Overall, I feel like it was a good game. It was really cool to like be in the environment because I'm so used to like chilling at home, watching it on TV. And to be honest, like the game goes by really, not really slow, but to me, it goes by a lot slower in person than it does at home. So I was kind of like, okay, can we speed this along just a little? The first goal was literally ridiculous. And I was literally going crazy. Like I was going insane because I'd never seen a goal in person in my life. But like that was super iconic. This is the replay of the second goal because I didn't like get the actual goal. This was the fan section. They were really eating up the whole game. Like I should have been over there to be honest. Then this moment was literally insane. This was right before halftime. And this defender literally like that ball was so close to going in. I don't know how she saved that. So now we got a, a little bubble moment. You know how kids be just uh, radical. So they was blowing some bubbles onto the field. This is me, you know, anxiously watching the game because that's what I do. And then here we go. Angel City has won the game. Super cute. We won. I love winning, so period. Can you hold it up for me? We got this merch. Yo. They got the hot dogs out. This post game activities. They got a little thing over here. We're really outside. We're outside. <laughs> Look, those gas prices are high. Y'all see that? Those, oop, they going back up again. Those gas prices are high. Group A we have New Zealand, Norway. The Philippines and Sweden. Immediately, I got to put the Philippines last because I just don't think the Philippines are going to eat it up for me. So I'm going to go ahead and drag them to the bottom. Now, New Zealand, they are playing in New Zealand for the World Cup, New Zealand and Australia. So their host country, but I just don't believe New Zealand has, you know, the quality football to win this group in any aspect. So I'm going to put New Zealand at third. And then the last two remaining is Norway and Sweden. Who's going to top the group? Norway already has one star to their name. I don't know if they're going to win the World Cup or anything, but they're definitely going to top this group. So we're going to put Norway first, Switzerland, New Zealand, and now the Philippines. Group B. We have Australia, the hosts, Ireland, Nigeria, and Canada. Group B is probably one of the most competitive groups, I believe. Group C might just be as competitive because of what I found out today. I want to put Ireland last because... Nigeria to me is a really really good team and they get underestimated. I'm just gonna go with putting Ireland last I really don't think Ireland is going to get third. <laughs> That's just my opinion You can hate me for it. For some reason I feel like Nigeria is really just gonna be a wild card in this World Cup I really do feel that way. I think Australia is gonna top this group. Honestly, I feel like Australia can win this World Cup Let's go to group C. Just in just in you guys. Zambia has beat Germany three to two in their friendly today. Zambia is 
number 77 in the FIFA World Cup rankings. Does Zambia have something up their sleeve that I don't know about? So this might just change my perspective. I was gonna put Zambia fourth, but now I'm gonna put Costa Rica fourth and I'm gonna put Zambia third. Now Japan and Spain. Spain is a really good quality team. We know this. Are they quality enough to beat Japan? I think Japan, you know, they're not new to this. They're true to this. So I think Japan's gonna top this group. Japan first. Spain second. <laughs> I know people might feel some type of way about that, but that's just my opinion. I feel like I'm cracking the code here. Group D, England, Haiti, Denmark, China. I'm going to immediately off the bat, going to put Denmark last. They might get third, but I'm gonna put Haiti third. China second, England first. US, Vietnam, the Netherlands, and Portugal. This is a tricky group too. You know, we have the OG Netherlands, the OG US Netherlands rivalry. We love that. But I'm just already gonna put Vietnam last. I'm so sorry, Viet, but you gotta go last, baby. Portugal has really, really good def defending. Like they have good defenders. Defenses do win games or defenses get you a tie. You know, sometimes they don't win the game. Sometimes they get you a tie. But do I think Portugal is better than the Netherlands? I do not. I think the Netherlands is a great, great team. I'm gonna put the Netherlands second and the USA in front. Group F, we have France, Jamaica, Brazil, and Panama. Sorry, Pan Pan, you're gonna go last. I'm gonna put Jamaica third, even though I do love Jamaica. Now, I'm going to put Brazil winning this group. I think Brazil has what it takes to win this World Cup as well. I think Australia and Brazil, a lot of people are sleeping on them a little bit, but I feel like they have what it takes to win. So I'm just gonna have to put France second, Brazil first, you know? I think Brazil has what it takes and I wanna ride with my Brazilians at the end of the day. Group G, we have Sweden, South Africa, Italy, and Argentina. I gonna put South Africa third. I'm gonna put Sweden first. Sweden is quality football. We all know that. Group H, the last group, which is Germany, Morocco, Colombia, and Korea. I'm going to put Morocco last, Colombia third, but maybe Colombia can get second. I feel like Colombia and Korea, it's really up to whoever, you know, wants it more. Now, round of 16 is getting serious. We have Norway versus Spain. I think Spain's gonna win this one, but I think Norway can put up a very, very decent fight but I just feel like Spain's quality of football is just a little bit better than Norway's. We have Japan versus Switzerland. Japan is gonna win that game. The US versus Italy. You see those four stars, you know the US is winning this game. Sweden versus the Netherlands. This is gonna be a good match. I think the Netherlands is gonna win though. I saw a match, a friendly that they played against Belgium. I think they played really good quality. So we're gonna go with them. Now we have Australia and China. I think Australia is gonna win that. Canada versus England. Um, England. I think England's a really, really good team. I think they have a chance to win this World Cup as well. Brazil, South Korea, gonna go with Brazil. Germany and France, now that's a crazy match. I don't know, I love both teams a lot. I don't know who to pick. I think Germany's gonna beat France, but I really want France to beat Germany because I want France to win this World Cup. I think they deserve it. They deserve a star, I don't know. I'm having trouble with this one. I'm gonna have to go with Germany here. I'm so sorry, France. I, win, I, I want France to win. I want France to win, but I think Germany's gonna take that one. Quarterfinals, this is where it gets scary. People have been picking Spain to beat the US, and I understand why, because they did play two friendlies against them. They lost both, I'm pretty sure, or they tied one, or I really don't remember. I think the US, you know, they don't wanna lose anymore, and they really wanna get their fifth star which would be insanity so i'm gonna pick the u.s to win against spain japan versus netherlands i feel like that'll be a good game i don't know who's gonna win that one but i'm gonna pick the netherlands now we have australia versus brazil my two faves in this tournament i want brazil to win and i think they will win i really do germany versus england that'll be a crazy insane game they played in the euro final as well england won but i Kind of saw Germany winning that match until, you know, the 90 minutes was up. So I'm gonna put Germany winning against England. Semi-finals, we have the US versus the Netherlands. We have Brazil versus Germany. I'm gonna pick the US to beat Netherlands because it always happens that way. I'm just kidding. They beat the Netherlands in 2019. So I think they're gonna beat the Netherlands in 2023. I think Germany's gonna beat Brazil, but I think Brazil's gonna beat Germany. I don't know. I think Germany's gonna beat Brazil. I, I love Brazil, but Germany is just a really good team. So in the final, we have the US versus Germany. Who do I think is going to win the final? 
the United States, or Germany. I think Germany's going to win. I've said that from the get-go. I said I think Germany's going to win this World Cup. Only 9% of players predicted Germany. I'm going to be that 9%. Here's people. Okay, 31% for the U.S., 22% for England, and 9% for Germany. That was the predictor. So if you guys want to try this out for yourself, I'll leave it down in the description. But yeah, so that's my prediction. Germany's going to win this World Cup, and I can't wait to see it happen. Thank you guys for watching this video. I really do appreciate it. If you can give it a like, that would be great. We're going to be a real YouTuber now. So if you guys want to support me on my journey, if you're a real one, I would really appreciate that. Yeah, so see you guys later.